Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. So today we've got Forrest, uh, which is uh, Nancy in, in our tech support. Uh, Forrest is, is Nancy's uh, fiance. He's coming over uh, to help us with some uh, welding today. I'll give you guys a, an update on where we're at. We've got the uh, input and output harnesses, the, the J2A, J2B harnesses for the Holly system. I'm gonna start working on that, getting some of our um, uh, auxiliary inputs and outputs, the uh, various sensors that we've added and stuff like that wired in. Uh, so we can start pinning that. Um, we've got the rear suspension parts came in from Viking. I've got to get that done. So right now what we're going to focus on is, is cutting off the flanges of the, of the headers. Um, and we're going to put V-band clamps on there. And some of you may ask, well, well why didn't you do that the first time? Um, and in full transparency, the whole build was to, to showcase uh, SP tools and, and all the things that, that we offer and what the capabilities are. That being said, you still have to be able to, to do the work, right? So a welder, I'm not. I may be talented in a few things. Welding is not one of them. So I didn't want to take a really expensive exhaust system, cut it up, and then screw it up. So instead, we're going to hire a professional to come in and uh, get him to help with it. So first thing we're going to do is get the chop saw. We're going to get the uh, flanges cut off of the headers and then we'll start fitting the rest of the exhaust so we can get rid of those those standard clamps that, that just don't hold the exhaust and we'll have a better fit uh, a better finish and and also a better seal bill uh, i don't know how much uh, filming he's actually going to get done today you're probably going to see a lot of gopro footage because he's actually going to be helping me get this engine stuck back in so we can get the exhaust fitted properly flanges that we can and then that way we'll know because that's really the only this pipe and that pipe is the only ones that we can actually cut so that way we can fit everything else in and we can mark it does that does that make sense yeah okay so we'll get everything from the header that's there by the other two sensors and then yeah with the middle we'll wait to start measuring exactly yeah because that's these pipes go to the header yeah. so we get this flange on here once that's up in the car, then we can just kind of set everything else up there and say, okay, where's this, where's it need to be? We can use the table to hold it in place. Where's this need to be? And then mark it, and then we can know exactly where to cut it and put the flanges on. Sounds good. All right. Where you get that table at, Lee? CEASUSA.com, baby. So we're just about finished with the V-band clamps. Uh, today went pretty well. Uh, we got we got forest knocking out a little bit of the exhaust. Made some good progress, as you can see. We've got the engine. Uh, in place. Uh, we're fitting the exhaust now so that everything kind of marries up the way it's supposed to. As soon as that's done, I'll get all of that back down. I got to pull the engine back out. A couple parts came in today. Downtown Adam Brown is here. He's out strolling around drinking a beer. So as soon as we get, uh, as soon as we get this exhaust wrapped up, we'll get this back down. Um, the dash is here from uh, Mako Motorsports so we can get the, the digital dash fitted. I do have a bracket. I think that's one of the things that came in. I ordered a bracket for the 
firewall pass through and technically it's not really going to be a firewall pass through it's going to be a transmission tunnel pass through uh, for the harness for the for the holly ecu at that point we're really just waiting on race wire we may even go ahead and, and button up the rest of the rear suspension so we can push the ute out of the way we also have to get the camaro dialed in so the plan for street and Yeet is to take the camaro and the ute and um, and run them in different classes we're going to run the the Camaro in the uh, unlimited class uh, at Street and Yeet, um, mainly uh, because of my friend Dave Vassar, um, Nitro Dave. Uh, I was on a podcast with Devin and the and the guys from South Southeast Street and Yeet with uh, the Drag and Drive podcast. I forget the name of it. And uh, so anyway, they, somebody mentioned, yeah, I don't I don't think that that the nitrous cars can actually compete. Well. I don't, in full transparency, I don't know screw all about nitrous, but um, I know people that do. So I reached out to Dave, he said, yeah, I'll help you put a car together. And we're gonna see if we can't take a uh, big block Chevy with some nitrous and see if we can't take that, that unlimited spot at Southeast Street E. So should be a really good time. Whole nother set of videos coming on the Camaro.